What's going on, y'all? I got an awesome episode for y'all today. We went out in Pensacola Bay and got on some snapper. Um, been on a lot of snapper in there lately. I've found a lot of spots, and uh, I'm going to show y'all that video. But before we get into that, I want y'all to consider subscribing to the channel. We put out content like this all the time. Uh, so to make sure y'all get to see that future content, hit that subscribe button. Also, the grid coordinates, the, the launch points, everything about this video can be found on Patreon. So if you want to know exactly where these spots are, to be able to go out there and catch Snapper off of them, as well as where we launched and, and all of that information, be sure to visit our Patreon and you'll be able to get that. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all, we just pulled up here to the spot. We're about to start dropping baits down. But before we do that, I want to go over with y'all a real quick setup that I use uh, to catch these red snapper, okay? My main line is braid. I run 50 pounds. You probably get by with a little bit less if you're fishing in Pensacola Bay. If you're out in the Gulf, you might want a little bit more. Um, but I run 50-pound Power Pro to a 4-ounce egg weight. Uh, sometimes you may need a little bit more depending on the tide. Current does get big and uh, get fast through here but four ounces is good for me. Run into a power swivel onto 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. And then I have a five volt circle hook. All right, and all I'm doing, you can use all kinds of bait, squid to pogey to, to just whatever. But the easiest thing that you can find in the stores are frozen cigar minnows. All right, and a lot of people cut these in half or whatever. I'm telling you, I take the whole cigar minnow thread it through the eyeball and drop them down there that's the only rig that i'm going to be using today but i want to get out here drop some lines and see if we can't pick up some snapper there he is there he is come on yeah you know you want it you know you want it dude there he is there he is oh that's a good one God, don't mind it. That might not be a snapper. Good God. What do we got here? There's no way that's a snapper. What do we got? Come on. Oh, he's dumping on me. Come on, baby. Be a snapper. Oh, yeah, that's a snapper. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. <sighs> Y'all check this out. Who says you can't catch big snapper in Pensacola Bay, right? I mean, probably sitting around 23, 24 inches. Beautiful, beautiful snapper. We'll pop this guy in the box. First snapper of the day. It's taken a while. Some of my old spots were dried up, but drifted across this good spot, dropped down, immediately getting hammered. And yeah, picking up beautiful Pensacola Bay red snapper. Pop this guy in the cooler, drop back down, see if we can't pick up another one. All right, I want to show y'all what we got on the fish finder right here. Okay, you notice over here, we're in 43 foot of water. Obviously with this structure or, or with snapper fishing, you wanna be in the deepest water possible. And this is one of the deepest spots that I found out here that holds structure. So let's get on top of our structure and show y'all what that looks like. See, you notice I got two waypoints right here, and I don't know if y'all can see that, but one marks the beginning of the structure and the other marks the end of the structure. That way I know if I'm drifting, I wanna drift between those two icons right there. If I'm doing that, I'll stay hooked up. And boom, there's our structure starting to pop up right there, okay? That's all we're looking for, just a little bit of rubble on the bottom, and you see a couple little balls a fish sitting right above it. Oh, and that's pretty much it. Y'all see a snapper sitting right there. And you know, I mean, there's a lot of snapper down there, a lot of bait fish too, but that's where we're gonna be targeting these fish today. And uh, let's get back to it. See if we can't pull up another snapper. Let me get a good one to eat. Let me get a good one to eat. My 
towards it. There we go. There we go. That's a good one. Uh, feels pretty dang decent, y'all. Yeah, you're running drag. That's a decent one. Oh, yeah. Bowed up on them. Come on. Come on up here. Boom. Red snapper number two in the bay. Both of them over 20 inches. Ah, somebody chill out. People looking at us. Y'all, big guy right there. Beautiful red snapper. Not quite as big as the first one, but definitely a keeper sitting around 20, 21 inches. Throw him in the box. And uh, that's pretty much it, y'all. We're gonna go ahead and head back to the beach. This video was more or less to show y'all easy ways to get out there and catch snapper. Anybody can catch these snapper. They're probably the dumbest fish in the sea. And I'm telling you, it's, it's just, it's fun and it's nonstop. So y'all follow these few little tips and I hope they help y'all. And if they do, make sure y'all hit that like button. Comment with any questions you have. Subscribe to the channel. We'll catch y'all next time.